Hey guys, this is just kind of a video blog, and I'm kind of in a bad mood right now because I tried out for my freshman volleyball team, and I was harshly cut. And uh, so this is just this. This is just kind of advice. I mean, you know, whenever you're down or something, and for tryouts because like now I know that. I should have done different things, and I think I can work on that and come back next year even better, I hope. <laughs> and so, um, I'm going to talk about volleyball tryouts, because that's the sport I play. But, um, for volleyball tryouts, you want to make sure that it, you hustle. You hustle everywhere, you run everywhere. You run, you go to shag balls, you run, you know, but you just take time and you do the drill correctly. And I think be coachable. Because my coach kept telling me that be coachable. Because they want somebody on the team that they can help and coach and, you know, kind of tweak these little things to make them a better player. And, you know, have a good attitude. I. I walked in and I saw my competition and I just kind of like, you know, not, not a good mixture. And I uh, just believe in yourself. I really don't think I believe in myself that much. Um, also, if your tryouts are like right as soon as school starts, do not sit on your butt all summer. Like, I tried to start running, but we were out of town, and it was a lame excuse. But really, I just I should have been running a lot more. But now that I'm not doing volleyball, I think I can focus on that and make myself a better runner for next year. Because I think my mile time, we had to do a mile, and I think um, I did vomit twice because it's very hot here. But my stomach wasn't ready for that. And so I think my time was like 10 minutes, and we're supposed to be at 8 minutes and 30 seconds. But, um, uh, just, you know, if Ryan's not your thing, just show that I know a lot of girls that made it, that, you know, came at 9.50, you know, and just take every ounce of you and leave it out there on that court, and... Be talkative, like whenever you're on the court, it's mind by mind, got your short, got your deep, you know, um, I'm middle, so I was like five, 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 and I was extremely loud, and I know I should be the team, but I am proud of myself, because I'm normally like super quiet, and I, I sometimes don't even call mine, but like the past two days, I've just been like so aggressive about it, and I think... <laughs> Um, also, if you're going into high school, I know my my high school needs two middle schools that feed into it, um, and one of the middle schools is right next door to the high school, not mine, and so the coaches went over there a lot to kind of watch their practices and watch their games, so, you know, they kind of saw who you were before you even got to camp or to try out, and, you know, Email your coaches, like, during, you know, the school year, hey, I have a club tournament, you know, come, it'd be awesome you can see, and that way, you know, they kind of see how you play, and it helps a lot, and also, uh, okay, so, I play club, and I played club for a while, and I've played volleyball for about six years, and I'm just... It's something I enjoy doing. I've played all over the court. And right now I play middle blocker because I'm 5'8". And... Yeah. And so I was really down that I didn't get this position over girls who showed up today. And just because they were like 5'9 and a half got the position. That really pissed me off. Um, but, you know, there's always next year. And you just gotta improve yourself. And some things that like made me better today is I was like giving phone calls from my friends and my family, like 
we know you did your best. You're an amazing player, and we love you. And you know that really did help. And just if you don't make it, have a good attitude about it because, like, I know yesterday I was like, I got this, you know, had a tryout, and then today after we saw the cut, it was just like, okay. And so I made a Facebook post, and I was like. Um, congrats to all the girls who did make it. Y'all are gonna be an awesome team this year. And then like a heart. And you know, just be classy about it. And you know, have a good attitude. I mean, people have much worse. So, and then another thing I wanted to just maybe go for a run, cause that like that takes my mind off stuff. And I asked my grandma one of her on the car, so she's watching us. I said, can you please take me to the driving range? Because I have to play golf. And she goes, yeah, why? I was like, I really just want to slam the heck out of those balls right now. So she took me up there, and it, that kind of helped. It was a little, like a little stress reliever, you know, pretend to hit the ball. Um, my dog made me like feel insanely better. So just, you know, anything that makes you happy, try to go for that. And don't be so hard on yourself. It's not the end of the world. And you know, I believe in you, like, you can do it. And <clears throat> unfortunately, there's not spots on the team for everybody. And maybe that coach isn't for you. Maybe, you know, they don't see how great you are. And you just need to keep your chin up. And think of the positive things. Like, instead of waking up at 6 a.m. to go running every day before I had to go to the, to the gym, I could just sleep in for two more weeks. Like, that's amazing, and, <laughs> yeah, and, like, instead of being all, like, sweaty, like, after your gym, I get to wait till after school for golf, and so, like, my makeup's not gonna be messed up, and, you know, that's, in high school, that's a big thing, um, you know, and I can't finish my summer, and those girls, their summer ended today. Like, I still have some things on my son's bucket list, and, you know, waking up at 6 a.m. to go run was not on it. Um, so, just, if you felt that way, you know, and you've recently had trials, just comment below, and I think hearing other people might help, because you're not alone, to be honest, there are plenty of people who haven't made it before. Like, Michael Jordan didn't even make his varsity team until his senior year. He didn't even make a team in high school until his senior year. And, you know, that might be you. And then you might be going and playing Olympics or championship games, whatever sport you play, I guess. Um, so just keep your head up. And I know I sound kind of like, ugh, right now, but I'm, I'm really tired as well. So... Just, I love you guys, and there's always an next year, and you just push yourself. Love you.